Hello, my name is Hannah and you're watching Iridescent. So today I just wanted to try a bunch of products that I got from our local Japanese store. Um, I've already kind of been using one and I really like it. It's really moisturizing. Um, the first product is Can Make. I already opened it. Five. I don't really know how to read any of this, but it's like a lipstick, chapstick kind of thing. It comes in a gold packaging. See? That's the bottom. Um, and then when initially uh, upon opening the product, there is like a heart emblem on it, but um, I've obviously used it, so you can't see it anymore. But this is how it will look on tan skin. So let's go ahead and apply. It's got really good um, like moisturizing properties. I hate wearing lipsticks that feel like it's sucking all of the moisture out of your face. I like it. All right, yeah, this is definitely a winner. Okay, so let me wipe off this and then I'll show you our next one. So the next product is another can make product. It's Melty Luminous Rogue Rogue. And this is number four. You're not gonna get the best of me. Get out. <laughs> okay, so number four. Oh gosh, I didn't wipe it all well. I also turned red easy, so don't judge me. Um, so number four, same gold packaging, but it says a four. Let's see what it looks like. So yes, this does have the heart emblem and a little bit of like a hexagon. I don't know if the other one had that as well. That's super cute. And let's see what it looks like. It's a little more brown orange. looks orange but still cute I feel like I could maybe work it with some like peach colored makeup or something I don't really wear makeup so this is what it looks like juicy jelly tint let's try oh it's a lip gloss I didn't expect that. I thought it was gonna be like, press it. I press it out. So far it feels good. Mmm, feels really good actually. I like it. Now, I do feel like, I don't know if I have to give it time to dry or whatever, I do feel like if I were eating, this would come right off, whereas the others, whoops. Um, I do feel like if I were eating, this would come right off, whereas the others probably wouldn't. Like, let's just do a little. Yeah, like, that's not staying on there. It's not, feels good. It'll be good for chatting if you're going so uh, blind dating or something, but not for eating. Might be good for daily wear. I'll have to try it out and see, but I'll let you know. Feels good though. Okay, so next one. I think this is I eye, eye sparkles like. Maybe you can read it. Can make. Yeah, something to do with the eye. 
So I actually am getting over an infection in this eye. It was totally swollen shut, so I am a little worried. I like the design, I like the gold lettering. Can make lightning liquid eye. I'll just sit on my cheek. How about that? That's kind of sparkly and cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So this will look good, I feel like, under here. I'm not gonna risk it though, but that's what it looks like. It catches the light really well. Shimmer, shimmer. That's good. I like, I like. So let's keep going with the eye stuff. Um, oh wait, no, I have another um, Juicy Jelly tent. So another Juicy Jelly tent. But a different color. <laughs> it says orange fizz. I thought it said something else. But let's try. Orange. Oh. I think orange looks good on me. Maybe because I'm blonde right now. I don't know. Looks natural. I like. Hmm. Pretty nice. Now let's keep doing eye stuff. Silky souffle eye by Kenmake. Ooh, let's try. Let's try. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try all the colors and just put a line on my cheek so you can see. So this is the one that we had just tried. This is the other light one. Mmm. Nice. This is the tan color next to it. I like how natural they are. They're not like too much. Sometimes I feel like American makeup is too much. I like lighter, more natural looks generally mm. pink looks good too and let's try the darker like brownish color oh these are the colors so this is this this is this this is this, and this is this. That's what it looks like. I wanted to get this because it has SPF in it. Um, it's Nivea Moist Pure Color. And it has something about a mask here. So I wonder if that means like it won't come off in a mask. Because that is something that with COVID is a new problem that we all have. So... I thought that would be nice if that actually is true. I don't know if that's what it actually says, but we'll see. So this is what it looks like. It kind of has like a ombre packaging. I think that's super, super cute. There's no emblem or anything on the chopstick. I like to know that because I think little touches like that really make a product. Ooh, it looks super pink right now. Well, they said apricot pink, pink. I like it. I think it looks natural. Now, I wish I had used Google Translate on this to see what it says, but maybe some of you can read it and let me know what I'm supposed to do, if I'm doing anything wrong, and comment below. But so far, I really like the pink. I think it looks really good with tan skin. Um, yeah, I like it. Now let's see if it'll come off. A little bit, but not nearly as bad as the other one did. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's like legit. So for our last kind of product that I would have to apply and show, 
um, we are going to do another Nivea product. It's called Rich Karen Color, um, but raspberry pink. Um, I really like Nivea products, so I just thought, you know, why not? It had this little oil drop, so I assume that meant like moisturizing, has SPF in it. Um, so, oh, the packaging is a lot easier to open. You just open that, slides out. That's always nice, though. You don't have to sit there and fool with it for like an hour. I don't know what this is. It might be like a safety seal or something. Let's see. Rich Care and Color, made in Japan, raspberry pink. This is what it looks like. And let's see it on. Oh wow, I love the application. Definitely moisturizing. Very smooth. Goes on super smooth actually. And I think I prefer this pink over the um, apricot pink. So I like the raspberry pink better. I feel like it goes better with tan skin. I'm just gonna leave this up in my face, I don't care. Um, so the next product um, that we're going to do is, or I'll talk about is um, another Japanese product, I believe. I bought it from a Japanese store, but reading it, it honestly sounds like Hawaiian. Um, it says, Ohana Mahalo, Nona Kao Akao, Silky and Moist Fragrance Hair Emulsion. Pikake Uli. I don't know if I said that right, but um, it's a hair emulsion. Um, and originally, I thought this was just gonna be for like um, for fragrance purposes only, and I thought it would be really harsh on my hair, so I used it very sparingly. But then, upon using it, I feel like my hair is softer not only does it smell good that it's softer and this is on stretched hair and natural hair this is like my natural hair pattern right here and even when i have my hair natural and i use the product it feels very moisturizing um i don't know if it helps with like split ends or anything but my hair really likes it and i have a mixed texture hair um my hair is super thick at the crown. And like here, you can just like see. This is like a couple day old um, press. I haven't really been taking care of it because it's been raining and I'm lazy. Um, but that's what my hair is really like. But my hair reacts really well to this product, which originally I didn't think it would because normally products made for um, white people or Asian people don't really work on black people, so. But this one works really well. Another product that pleasantly surprised me, um, a Japanese product, I have no idea what it says, again, is this Subaki Premium Hair Water Repair. Um, I did use Google Translate on this. And so what I do is I, um, you know, of course, wash, condition, and do deep, uh, leave-in treatments like I normally do, especially since my hair is dyed blonde. Have to be extra careful. Um, but I've been spraying this right before I use my Revair. Um, and I feel like it's helping, like helping my split ends, making my hair softer. And not only does it do that, but it smells so good. So this is another product that unexpectedly, unexpectedly, works for um, black people. And people with, I'm not really good with the hair typing, 4C. I have tight, like tight curls, where if you don't comb through it every day, it will get matted, like matted, where like, you know, I have to cut it out. So I typically wear my hair stretched, especially since I work long hours, I work in the medical field, and it's just easier for me to maintain that way. And I also noticed that my hair grows faster in a stretched 
um, form. So I like to just do that. But um, yeah, these products pleasantly surprise me. They work for us, so try it, try it. Um, I think that was a, it wasn't too expensive. Um, there's one more product I want to talk to you about too that works really well for hair repair and it works pretty well for people of color. So hold on one second. Okay, so this next product I've been using um, and I really feel like it's helped with split ends. Ultimately, the only way you can get rid of split ends is to get your hair cut, but I try to use products in between my haircuts so that I can retain the length and that um, retain my length and so that the split ends don't split all the way up my hair. And I feel like these have been helping. So another leave-in treatment that I've been using is this the Subaki um, Premium Moist Treatment. Um, so for this one, I um, use this with a mixture of Queen's Cholesterol Treatment, and I'll put it, I'll just work it all throughout my hair, um, comb it through with a tangled teaser, and then I'll like put a shower cap on my head and sit and watch Netflix like a couple of hours or something, and it makes my hair so soft and it smells so good. Typically I don't like I don't like the smell of the Queen Anne's hair cholesterol. I feel like it smells like lotion. But this I it smells so good. Like like perfume or something. But it doesn't make my hair feel like dried out that like typical like typical perfume products do. So again, this is for good for daily use. So if you're having some dryness, like I typically put this like on the ends of my hair, um, just to give it a little bit more moisture. This is for after washing with shampoo and conditioner, doing your leave-in treatments. Um, I put this on before I blow dry. And then um, this is for like a leave-in treatment. So definitely try these out and try the other products such as um, the Can Make, all of these little can, can, cute Can Makes that I have. I really recommend them. I strive to look for products that are not only cheap, but also good for you, um, such as like moisturizing. I hate like a lot of name brand stuff that I bought. It just dries you out. It's really just a brand. Typically, when I buy a brand, it doesn't really work well for me. It's not made for people like me, but these products, I think they'll work for us. So um, go ahead and try them out. Let me know what you think. They're all relatively cheap. Um, I got mine from a store called Ebisu in Georgia. So if you're in Atlanta, definitely check it out. Definitely try it. Um, I'm not sure if they'd have these at like Daiso and Cali or something like that, but um, I think it's worth looking for. And of course you can find anything on Amazon, but yeah, definitely give these products a try and let me know what you think. Nice talking to you. Bye.